Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today. And I lucked into finding all of the Rainbow High Series 3 recent releases. I don't know what their street date actually is or was, but I did find them at a couple of my local Walmarts, they were supposed to all have them. Cheryl here was actually the holdout that I had to go to a different Walmart for. But I wanted to pick her up kind of especially because this outfit here reminds me of Cher from Clueless and I had to have it. So I actually picked her up. She was the last one at the store that I was at that I uh, found her in. Uh, one of her earrings has fallen out. It's down there in the bottom of the box, so I still see it, so it's fine. But... Uh, She's supposed to have two of those dangly earrings. But the good news is, we do get earrings in her set and a headband. So that's exciting, in addition to the normal pieces that we would normally get. And she's wearing stockings, which I love, because those stockings are really, uh, are really uh, usable in other dolls. So again, we've got the Series 3 packaging right here, and it's Cheryl Meyer. Let's give a nice 360 of this box. So it does have a little uh, thing on the side. So it says her name and she's got textile design focus, if y'all can read that. And then we've got new box art on the back with our new series three dolls. Cheryl here is right front and center. Uh, I did like her design the most. Uh, the one after that that I liked the most is probably the mint doll. I'm not sure of all their names yet. I'm gonna read them out. I'm gonna do individual videos for all of them because I did pick them all up. So I'm gonna be sitting here for a while doing these videos today. So hopefully they'll go out on they'll go up on YouTube today. Again, we have the uh, Rainbow High basic um, basic tagline. And unfortunately, they did, they did go back to the Series 1 style box. Not They didn't keep the Winter High style boxes, which were really easy to open and could be reused. A little disappointed in that, uh, because these do take a little bit longer to open up, just because you've got to go around all the different edges. So let's get them open. So let's see. So we've got that. They did most of the job of opening this one for us, so that's nice. Okay, we've got a little bit of tape left over here. I thought I sliced through that already. Okay, and let's take Cheryl out. And there went that earring that I told y'all about. Okay. Get that out of the box real quick. Okay. And then I'm going to grab her other stuff real quick. I'm gonna open it off camera just because it's not really that interesting. But the uh, boxes, again, are not uh, super reusable like they were for the Winter Break dolls, which is a little unfortunate because I feel like they made some progress with those, and then they just kind of backpedaled it. Um, but I will give us more of a in-depth look at these in the boxes. There's her second pair of shoes. And then we'll get this other outfit out. one is rather well glued in there. So there's her second outfit out of the box. Lots of, lots of heavy glue on this one. Like that's a lot right there. Uh, so those are her other outfits. We do have a stand here. The stand is almost the same shade as Sunny's stand, I'm pretty sure. Let's open the stand up so we have somewhere to put her. Uh, and we'll take her out. These are the new style clips still that we had with the, um, with the Winter Break dolls. 
and the same style hangers. So again, these sort of flimsier clips, which are easier to put the doll on and off, but do not hold them on as well, in my opinion. And again, we have her rainbow high hangers. Very cute. And we're gonna, this is that earring I was talking about, and it just fell right out of her hole in the, uh, in her hat. But the nice thing about these is they go right back in. So here she is out of her box, away from that big plastic shield that just likes to be really reflective. Uh, and so, as you can see, she does have some lip liner on. She's got kind of a golden eyeshadow and some really nice hazel eyes. Uh, she's got this cute buckle here and buttons on these jackets. Uh, there's two different plaids that are on the skirt, which is kind of interesting. And these are kind of Mary Janes down here with little pearl heels. So these heels go with her, uh, go with her earrings, which I kind of like. And these are almost a nude heel, which is kind of interesting to see because we haven't seen a lot of nude tones from uh, Rainbow High. But I'm going to get her out of her box. I generally like to start with the legs just because they're usually the easiest parts to get to where these are concerned. And let's see, where are you at? Right over here. She's got one over here on her arm, kind of under her hair. So we can go like that. And again, oh, actually hers is actually kind of easy to get to, her waist one. Um, and then we're gonna gently take her hand out of the little plastic shielding that keeps her hand up on the thing. Because I have had hands broken and arms broken by these in the past. Okay. And so she does have a clip holding her head back in. So that's not too bad. Uh, there's a couple of little uh, staples holding her hair back, but it doesn't really impede the removal of her hair from the packaging. Uh, again, here's her little brush. Same color as her stand. Let's show her off a little bit closer now. Just look at that. Those are very cute. I do like her earrings. Um, they're not too similar to any other earrings that we've gotten so far, which is nice. I always appreciate a nice mold, a nice new mold, because that means we can get recolors of it. We'll probably see this in silver. Um, she's got very nice hair. There's not, not actually a ton of glue in it. Like, I wouldn't rewash this hair. And it's just very, it's very soft. Like, the rainbow, high, the rainbow High hair is always soft, but this is soft without any glue, which I love because I hate messing with glue on these dolls. So let's put her on her stand. Okay, and give you guys more of an in-depth look at her. So as we can see, here she is. Uh, she does have more of a preppy feel than Sunny's more kawaii look, which is kind of nice if you like yellow and you want more preppy fashions. Uh, she doesn't really remind me of anyone other than maybe Bella. This is maybe a Bella recolor is what it feels like a little bit. Like they could have easily just done another Bella with the same outfit in a, uh, in a pink and it would have been just as cute. So let's take a look individually at the pieces that she's wearing, which is what we're going to do. So first, I'm going to start with these earrings. We're going to take them off. I'll show you guys. So they do have a little gold nipple there on the bottom. They are the same on both sides. It's not an R and an H like some of them have been. 
So these are very cute. So we're gonna count this as our first piece. And then we're gonna look at the shoes. So again, here are our shoes. Little bow, some brown soles. Very cute, they are differentiated because the bows are on different sides. So that's our second piece. And we've got our stockings, which if you remember, I like these uh, because they are gonna fit on any of the dolls that you want them to usually. If their feet fit through the hole, they're gonna fit. Uh, so these are nice. So three pieces so far. Uh, we do have a couple of staples holding her jacket on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in there real quick. Just do a quick little nip with our nippers. So that way, because when you don't use a nipper to get these off, y'all, you always run the risk of tearing your clothes. They could be little holes or big holes if you're not being super careful with them. Um, but there is always that risk, which is why I always like to use nippers. So this is her first piece. It's a very cute little suit jacket. Very, um, very 80s, 90s preppy. Like this I could see in Heather's. Uh, of course, because it's Rainbow High, it is well made. This is a thinner material than they usually use, I've noticed. Um, it's almost a, like a, it's like a light cotton flannel, almost. And it's gonna wrinkle. Like, just, like, that's wrinkled. But it's also gonna be a lot easier to store. And this is what she looks like underneath that. So that skirt is actually a dress. Now let's see if this belt is independent. So the belt, it looks like, is independent, which is great because this is a nice basic black. It's got a gold buckle, and most of our Rainbow High accessories have been gold, not silver. So that's great. So we've got a, let's see if we can get a better, see on that, it does say Rainbow on it. Right there, if you can see that, it's a cool little clasp. So that's its own piece. And then we've got over here, we have got our little skirt dress. It unfortunately does have one of those little underwear things, but if you cut it out, it will, uh, it'll fit on more dolls. Uh, so this could either just be a high-waisted skirt on a doll, because this bust line is not super gigantic because it comes out not very far. And then we have these two different plaids that are under there. Well, this is a true plaid. This is more of a, just a checkered gingham almost. But these are actually, uh, they're the same colors, but they are different plaids if you look at that. Those stripe patterns are different. Which bothers me a little bit, but not a lot, because it's three different ones, so it does still look like it's meant to be one outfit. And then we do have another baby tee under there that just says rainbow, and it's got a little bit of decorative edging. Um, and we're gonna take that off. And we're going to give outfit number two a look. So outfit number one was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces, which is pretty good considering that, you know? Normally most of our pieces are three or four, most of our outfits are three or four pieces, but this was actually really well, really well done. Uh, if we take out the fact that the earrings and the belt can go with either outfit, and we don't normally count the shoes. It does go back down to four pieces, which is still better than most. But let's give a look at this one in here, this outfit. So what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna take this out off camera. I am probably gonna cut up this piece to make an earring stand for the uh, 
for our new earrings that we got. And here it is outside of the box. Without that big plastic covering, it does say rainbow and more of a uh, uh, cursive script, which is nice. And then on these, I cut them from the back just to avoid hitting any of those uh, fabrics because it does make your life a little bit easier if you're worried about accidentally cutting fabric and not the, uh, and not what you're trying to cut. A lot of things to cut on this one. Okay. So here is our headband that we got. It does say rainbow in that same cursive script, uh, which is a little weird because kids don't learn cursive now. Um, but so it's very cute. That's going to go in our accessory pile over there because that can go with either outfit. Um, and then here is the outfit outside of our box. So we're going to see how difficult this is going to be to take off. So we've got our sweater vest, which is fun. Um, and so we've got that. I kind of wish it had this kind of pattern around the sleeves also, but it's still very cute. So that's piece number one. And then we have uh, piece number two. Now this is not a fully open shirt at the back, which is kind of a pain to put on dolls, but it's still very cute. Um, you are gonna have probably some issues with these collars not laying down flat. So she's gonna be an 80s popped collar if you want her to wear this shirt most likely, but it is see-through. So you can't really use this shirt on your own, on its own, if you're going for a, what an everyday person would wear kind of look, unless you put one of the bandos that generally come with some of them instead of the baby tees. Like Ruby, I think has the bandos and, uh, oh gosh, I can't remember who else, but they're still very cute without this, but this is a very cute, uh, sort of a longer shirt. And this is gonna work on more Barbies also, which is nice, because it's longer. Um, so, two pieces so far. And then here is our skirt. The skirt is done, oh, there is, there are more little uh, attachments inside this. On some of these, you can't tell that it's got another staple until you get into it and they hide them in weird spots. This is more of a silky fabric, or a, it's more of a satin actually. Um, but it is still thin, it is printed, it is probably gonna wrinkle a little. Um, it does have one of these little um, underwear holders. It does not open all the way down the back. So if you're going for uh, curvy Barbies or anything like that, it's gonna be kind of a pain to put it on unless you cut off that little underwear part. But it's a very cute skirt. If you were to put the baby tee and the skirt together, that would still be a cute outfit. Um, so three pieces on the second outfit. And then we've got our other pair of shoes. Now, let's look at our other pair of shoes real quick. So there is our second pair of shoes. So it does have uh, three different colors. If you see that, it's got a gold, it's got a tan, and it's got that uh, happy yellow. And so let's take them off of this and see what we got on these soles. Okay, so we do have black soles, so that's nice. Right? Okay. And so those are our second pairs of shoes, second pair of shoes. Right there, very cute. Uh, an open back, which is always nice for my Ken doll fits because these shoes don't fit Barbie, just FYI. Uh, so overall, Cheryl has got three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 pieces of fashions.
which is great because that is a good number of fashions to have. Uh, oh, I don't know if I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Uh, she does retail at Walmart for $27.99. Uh, I looked on walmart.com. She does not have a lower price that's posted yet, but a couple of them do. I believe the magenta doll and the, and then the uh, violet doll or the purple. I'm not sure what color she's supposed to be. The black and purple one uh, are both at $21.29. So price match if you find them in stores. Uh, save yourself a couple of bucks here and there because these dolls do get expensive because they are $30 after tax, or at least where I am in a high sales tax area. But they're very cute. I like these outfits. Unfortunately, we did not get the new articulation. I wanted new articulation on these Series 3 dolls, but they gave us Series 1 bodies. I am hoping that the new... Uh, main series dolls that are coming out. I think it's the LA fashion ones. I am hoping that they are going to have the same articulation that Jet Dawson had, where we got the chest articulation and the ankle articulation. But I don't know if it's going to happen. But for now, these bodies have always been more articulated than most, which is nice, especially at the $30 price point. Uh, but again, for me, for the Rainbow High dolls, it has always been about the fashions. So this has been Disney D Prince. If you have a question, leave a comment. If you liked it, drop a like. And as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Hopefully I'll get the rest of these girls up on, to, up on YouTube today. If not, it'll be tomorrow. Thanks, y'all. Bye.